Hi, hello everybody. Uh, this is Gaurav Chaudhary. Today I am starting a series on branch node management in Energy Plus. Uh, this topic is relatively advanced, so I won't be covering any basics. So, if you're not familiar with basics, I would recommend you to see uh, the introduction video, where I've listed other sources and some video links in YouTube, which you can see and go through to learn basics. The link to that video uh, I have given in the description below. Coming to the today's video, uh, this part would be an overview of building geometry uh, and the HVAC which we will be making in our uh, IDF. I will start with an IDF file uh, which already has all the objects other than HVAC of the building. Uh, the building form, materials, construction, uh, site and design days the schedules these are already present in the building I actually prepared this um, the idea file using uh, there is a file named l building uh, g00901802270 I actually used um, this file Uh, this file initially had a uh, HVAC template, it had a unitary system. I removed these three um, objects and sizing parameters and I also removed some of the initial objects like compliance building. Uh, so what I did was uh, I renamed these zones. Uh, these zone names are really too big. Uh, later on in the video you will see we will be making nodes and branches so if we use these zone names uh, the nodes the names of nodes might become too large for us to handle so I renamed these and I came upon a file uh, I made a file I will show you just now ok before uh, starting uh, I will recommend you to uh, do every step which I do um, in your system and uh, for information I am using energy plus 8.1 version uh, I also recommend you to open a file named input output reference in documentation folder like I have shown here uh, this file is really important and this is the bible of energy plus you can learn anything from about energy plus from this file so I recommend you to open this file um, if you get into any doubt what this object means what what does it do so you can just open it and search for the object there will be a detailed description of, of about that object okay so i'll show you this file okay this is that blank idea file i made uh, this this file does not contain hvac objects it has everything else like from starting uh, this has version simulation control and the site location I have kept same Chicago. I have added some more design days from uh, DDoI file and um, the material construction are all same. Yeah, I uh, renamed these zones. Uh, these are simple zone A, zone B to zone H. And uh, I made a zone list of all these zones. Uh, this will be useful in useful in sizing and um, making. Okay, I also kept these uh, building surfaces, fenestration surfaces and all the inter, uh, internal loads, people, light, electric equipment are all the same. Okay, now coming to the uh, building geometry. Uh, the, the eight zones which you saw are actually a uh, part of this building. This is an L-shaped building. Um, there are two core zones and six peripheral zones. So these A to H are actually like this zone A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Okay, now coming to the HVAC which we will be making. Um, uh, let's decide upon um, we will be putting uh, VAV reheat in all zones and we will be using chillers and boilers to. Um, 
provide cold water and hot water chilled water and hot water and um, about age use uh, okay before that um, we have to decide upon a format upon which we'll be naming every thing um, so for VAVs um, it's like VAV A1, B1, C1, D1 um, there is one VAV in all these peripheral zones and two VAVs in uh, the core zones so uh, for the demonstration purposes uh, because so that we can cover all type of HVAC um, HVAC types um, what I've decided is um, one VHU uh, AHU1 will be providing um, cold air chilled air whatever you say to uh, these zones zone A, B and C uh, so AHU1 would be providing cold air to three VAVs and then this core zones uh, VAV G1 and G2 um, AH2 would be providing cold air to the, these zones and then AH3 would be mix of these two AHUs like um, this AHU has one VAB from one zone like these three and then two VAVs from these um, this zone edge so I actually made this kind of combination so that uh, it can cover everything there is an AHU which is which has one VAV in one zone in three different zones then there is an AHU which has um, which is providing air to one single zone but there are two VAVs in that zone and this AHU3 would be a mix of these two uh, next we will be making uh, HVAC diagrams in the next video